by the way, follow WebJP. I mean, you can see how much time and effort he puts into this character. And it, it, it pays off. I mean, he's gone to watch the throne. He's gone to many major, like, top eights and whatnot. So this is no slouch whatsoever. But I don't know. I mean, maybe Webb could pull out his Zero Suit Samus or his Lucas that he's had he in the did, past. He did actually play Zero Suit Samus earlier in this bracket. Oh. So it is a potential possibility, but the Sheik has been solid as ever. And mm. it's just been downright incredible. I mean, we're seeing it right now, right? These incredible combos. He makes it look so easy, but these are incredibly difficult combos to pull off on a technical level. Dude, I feel and the he carpal just... tunnel in like, my, my wrist right now. Like, <laughs> exactly. watching him just do this. But he does it, and it makes it look smooth like butter, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's really amazing to see. And yeah, he's only had some, like, two years of playing against Sheik. Funny thing, the um, the way I know about that is because I saw, again, the meme of him tweeting <laughs> and then him replying to himself, yo, pop out to a fusion, my guy. I'd see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, because the original tweet is him saying, like, dang, I've been playing Sheik for only, like, three months. Mm -hmm. And that was back in 2022. Wow, so. what a kill. Yeah, very good edge guard right there. And even though it's only been two years, you would have thought he's been playing this character for a decade. Right. With good the way he plays it. Yeah, good placement of the needles to be able to uh, counter that pretty linear recovery from Wolf. I mean, of course, yeah. Wolf Flash and that up. He's pretty solid in terms of damage, but not a lot of distance you cover. I mean, a lot yeah. of horizontal, but not a lot of vertical. Yeah, you're very much relying on Wolf's airspeed to really get you that distance. And when you're not able to fully do that due to something like a, a needle gimp, Mm -hmm. it kind of exposes just how weak that recovery can sometimes be, at least relative to other characters. Yeah, but consistency really counts. You're seeing that from WebGP right now. Is he is working on the second stock like crazy, 67%. Constantly getting these combos. Also has max rage, so yeah. it's packing a punch, all these hits. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we the common narrative online is that Sheik really struggles to kill, but the reality is when you look at something like this right here, when Webb's able to get KO, it's actually very difficult to KO him in return because of Sheik's movement and just the overwhelming combos. Go. I mean, Jackal's finally going to get that back throw kill, but 72% extra credit, it's looking pretty nice for WebJP. Yeah, it's only going to keep on going up so long as WebJP doesn't box too much with Jackal because when you box, when you get him close, Jackal finds one hit. All of a sudden, it's 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 literally even. even, yeah. No, this is sort of the volatility that a game like Smash Ultimate has, right? Mm -hmm. Even though you can sit very pretty with that extra credit, you have to make sure you capitalize after you get your stock taken. And just one or two mistakes led to Jackal getting a huge, um, a huge opening. And mm -hmm. I mean, that's why Jackal's one of the best players in the United States. Yeah. I mean, easier said than done to maintain those those kinds of leads, especially as yeah. a character like Sheik, where, again, you have to put so much work just to get 30% off. I think that's, like, <laughs> the main joke that everyone's made. But it's true. Doesn't get the raindrop. Oh, it doesn't get the raindrop. And, yeah, that's going to definitely hurt a little bit, especially mm. as that rage up tilt's going to take the KO, looking like Snake right there. Yeah, that's the problem, because Sheik is a bit of a light character. So, I mean, glass cannon much without the cannon <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. It's just a lot of... A lot of tedious work, and now you're at one 133. Finally gets that down smash. That's not gonna kill. There you uh, go, Marthitis at its finest. Oh, but gets that gets the gravity grenade. Yeah, but that's the thing though, right? It might take a while. And it might seem to get a lot of mental energy off, but WebJP is a very resilient player, and a lot of these combos he's done at this point, mm -hmm. it's like second nature to him. You right. know what I mean? So while it does seem very difficult, and it can be very difficult for top level players like Sheik, I mean top level character. Top level players mm. of Sheik, <laughs> um, it becomes a bit easier, right? And yeah. in that situation, oh. he only got 13% extra crap put on him, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, and I like that that uh, kind of creativity, trying to go for that downer spike on ledge, catching Jackal, uh, hanging on there a little bit too long, but you got to watch out, 90%, good back air. You can see that Jackal's fishing for it. Mm -hmm. One good hit, and it's lights out. Yeah, no, it's going to be tough for sure, mm. but, I mean, so nimble is WebJP here, but... Jackal definitely has a lot of tricks up his sleeve to get a KO. 122%, 131. I mean, that at laser. this point, mm. yeah, backer's going to take it right there. Game one, going to Jackal. Oh, that pressure on that on off stage with that laser was absolutely crazy. Brutal. Just kept on catching WebJP, not going for an air dodge, jumping, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And it was just that pressure allowing for Jackal to get that backer off. Yeah. Um, I mean,. Perfect play, honestly, in that last stock and those die embers of the of that last match. But yeah. what, JP, got to make some adjustments. I mean, you were doing so well in the beginning, and then it kind of... Sheik kind of playing its role in this game. 
uh, and just not being able to finish off a lot of these stocks the way that you, uh, a character like Wolf or Pyramitha, you know, like the top yeah. five would be able to do. At the same time, though, I still I, I like to push back on that at least a little bit because mm -hmm. WebJP still is a really good finisher. I mean, oh, yeah. at the end of the day, I mean, the way he's able to get a lot of these confirms off with Sheik is really good. And what we saw earlier in that game one, right, we saw the edge guard with the needle gimp. Mm -hmm. That's something that we could potentially see more heading into this game too, right? The ability for Sheik to really play off stage and really pl play the off stage game to her advantage with ledge trapping with a little bit of edge guarding as well, especially against Wolf. That is if Jackal allows for it to happen again, because right now yeah. his defensive resiliency has been top Ooh. notch and the up smash out of shield. Something that a lot of Wolves do, and it just works, man. It just works every time. Yeah, it's the main thing that Jackal is really doing is holding down that center stage, right? Really having very good stage control, not allowing him to be put in positions where he gets edge guards. I mean, he's going to be in this situation right here, but he's able to escape it with that right huh. attack option. But there we go, though. Just a stray neutral air going to lead to a Bouncing Fish KO. And yeah. Still in even stocks. Yeah, soft nair into the Bouncing Fish was definitely crucial. Something that Webb's definitely worked in the lab for a while. And this, another combo, getting those up airs. Huge forward air to be able to extend this. Doesn't mm. get the grab. Good acknowledgement from Jack right there to get that spot dodge and just avoid another big string from WebJP. That's kind of just been the story of this, of this set so far. It's just Jackal's ability to avoid getting hit by a lot of these combos. And when he does, he's able to come back. Oh, oh but is he going to come back from this, though? I mean, it is definitely a mm. lot of damage so far, and Webb is looking back for more. Air. Already at 87% and going to fully charge the needles. Definitely can lead to a confirm right there as well. you got to watch out for a fully charged needles. What a Tomahawk. Yeah, really good Tomahawk right there. And Jackal going to do some ledge trapping of his own. Nah. Wow. Just letting that rip a little bit too early, and Jackal just right on it gets that up smash once again. Just, again, really, really good awareness and just reaction time from Jackal to be able to punish that. Yeah, Jackal playing very poised right now. Definitely seems to be in the driver's wow. seat. But with a nice little read like that, Webb is going to bring it back to an even situation. It's only a matter of time before one of these just finds one kill. I mean, really, both these guys just need one conversion, and it's a lot of damage, but... I feel like for Wolf, it's just one conversion, and <laughs> you're basically dead with the damage output that he has. Potentially, yeah. No, a forwarder back air combo could potentially be the set. Mm -hmm. but, so you're going to have to really watch out for that if you're WebJP. Nice. But if you're Jackal, you're going to have to watch out for these stray up airs that can lead to drag down combos. The consistency with these IDJs as well to get that raw back air is just yes. absolutely crazy. Gets his tech off, tries to run in against that laser. Doesn't get grabbed by Jackal. We got to watch out! And he's been avoiding the Neals really well. Let's see if he mm. gets, ends up charging Neals next time an interaction happens. Oh, oh no. Three wow. And a bit of spaghetti there to cap off that set. He saw he could get the punish off the up smash, but was just a little bit.